I think that what we're seeing happen to Carmelo Anthony in the NBA equals what happened to Terrell Owens in the NFL. 450 roster spots. So if you're going to take the lower 150 players in the league, that means between roster spot 11 and 15 on each team. Mm -hmm. Yes, you would say in a vacuum, he deserves a job. He's better or just as good as all of those players. Sure. But the thing that changes, oh, and by the way, Mike D'Antoni couldn't wait to get him out of the league. Let me just be the guy to say that, too. People felt like, oh, they were going to rekindle what happened in New York City. That, How did that go? What ends up happening is when you have a veteran like T.O., like Melo, that's going to the Hall of Fame, you have to see them at some point of their career invite the fact that I'm slowing down and I'm willing to take a reduced role. Sure. If I'm the GM of a team, I sign Carmelo Anthony. I sign him. I'm not going to justify why teams aren't signing him. I'm going to tell you why I think they're not. They can do it in their minds by saying, after a game, I don't want the media coming up to the 11th, 12th man on my roster and asking them about their role or asking them about the minutes that they played tonight or asking them how many times they caught the ball in T.O.'s case. Because to them, that big name Hall of Famer can become a distraction or a yeah. sideshow. And, you know, so any, they hide behind that. Any, any future Hall of Famer, anyone with the stature of Carmelo Anthony is going to be a leader, especially on a younger team. And if every single day reporters are going to that leader and saying, you only played eight minutes today. How do you feel about that? And it happens again, and it happens again, and it happens again. It has to creep into his mind. It can affect his happiness. And I can see that. And that's how front offices can justify it. And again, I would sign him. But let me say two more things. Ain't this a player's league? Sure. Some of the star players can actually go to their front offices, too, and say, we want Carmelo on our team. Remember when Dwayne Ray was on the, the Cavs? Do you remember that? There's LeBron and the Banana Bro brothers. Do you think LeBron could probably go to Rob Polinka and say, let's sign Melo and, and see And I'm what not going to put it all on LeBron. Oh, no. He ain't the only star player in the league that has this level of cachet. So I'm pegging that off Kuzma's comments who doesn't have that autonomy clearly with the Lakers as a young player, mm -hmm. that there are players in the league that could go to their team right now and say, sign Carmelo Anthony. Yeah. And I they would sign him. He's ready for a reduced role. Trust me, he's ready. Get on the phone with his agent. And he even mentioned that his agents are reaching out to teams. And that's point two I want to make. Here's point three. They're both from the DMV. They're both prolific scorers. He and Allen Iverson both did something that media and front offices will never let them live down. And we all make mistakes. We all make bad decisions. This man been for public consumption for 15 or 20 years. You're going to make some stumbles. When both of those guys didn't embrace publicly that they would take a reduced role and accept it, that now gives them the momentum in the doors, in the offices, behind closed doors in those offices to say, oh, we're not going to bring him in. Remember when he was about to get yeah. brought off the bench in OKC, how he responded? Remember how Allen Iverson responded when they were going to play him behind Mike Conley? They didn't take so very well to those roles. So now people can use that old footage to dictate who he is now when it doesn't. It reminds me of when I said what I said about the Duke, the black players at Duke in the Fab Five documentary and it was 2011, yet the doc was so very good, and we did such an amazing job to make people feel it was real. They took those comments as like I was saying it in 2011, when that was really how we felt and how I felt in 1991. So they're not letting Melo live that down. So unfortunately, though he can still ball in the league, doesn't have an opportunity. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+. Plus.